Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. For Shannon, what does this tell you? Uh, first of all, I do not believe that this is a chastisable offense. Um, if Gronk was injured and he was going outside of the scope, Skip, yeah. I can see. <clears throat> you want your tr uh, training staff to get a look at him to see where he is. I get that. But Gronk isn't injured. So now I'm looking at it, okay, so what's the crooks of this? Mm. Alex Guerrero just happens to be caught in the bab at the, at the wrong place at the mm -hmm. wrong time. This has nothing to do with Gronk training with Guerrero. This has nothing to do with Guerrero. This has everything to do with Mr. Kraft mm -hmm. in, or instructed, demanded that Coach Belichick trade Jimmy Garoppolo. In order for Coach Belichick to get some of that power back and to show that I'm still in charge, yep. get out of here, Guerrero. You will have no more access. And then he publicly tries to shame Gronk. Now, I get it. Look, he probably, maybe he said, Gronk, you can't play tight end with noodle arms like Tom Brady can play quarterback. You play two different positions. You could so that. you need to lift some weights. I understand you want to be flexible, mm -hmm. but you need to lift some weights. But this is not a chastisable offense. This is something that you could call Gronk in. Mm -hmm. Skip, we've seen incidents where, well, somebody got shot over a PlayStation or somebody got over a sandwich. That wasn't the reason. Mm -hmm. That was the final straw. Yep. This is not the reason Coach Belichick is doing this. <sighs> Coach Belichick, for the first time, someone checked his authority. Yeah. And the person that checked it has more authority than him. <laughs> so this is his way of saying, hold on, I'm still in charge here. I'm just letting everybody know. Mm -hmm. And this is where we are right now. Yeah, and, and, and I think even though we don't have the total context of what exactly he said, I, I kind of agree with that is that he, he checked him from a certain standpoint. It's like, I am still that dude now. Yeah. Like, don't, don't let's not get this out of order. And, and I think when you think about this, and I kind of go to this, right? And I <laughs> shouldn't make a joke about this, but I am. Because, you know, when you told me to change my eating habits, like, I thought you was really crazy. <laughs> like, no, I'm serious. Like, I, I, you know, I walk in and it's just plain green beans and no salt, no pepper, no nothing. The chicken is dry. <laughs> and just water, <laughs> and 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 it's a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. But when you think about what Brady is doing and what Gronk is doing, listen, Brady is trying to stay up. You know, people are trying to Bobby Boucher Gronk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be ready for that. Yes. Right. And so you have to. This has to be a totally different program now. From the from from, from the nutrition side, mm -hmm. I totally get it. Right. Because the better you eat, the more the the, the better you perform. Mm -hmm. Like I learned that very early. Right from from guys like him, him Rod Wilsons, and just guys just learning that knowledge from them. But when you get to a certain point, you have to do what your position requires, yep. and that's what you're speaking mm -hmm. about. When that position says, "I got to be lifting more than anything," mm -hmm. you know, if you watch the transition of guys, I want you to really pay attention when guys come in the league on how their bodies start to deteriorate, because a lot of them don't train for the position. Yep. Right? A lot of them just say, I can run fast, I can catch balls, and that's all I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, the transition, and I think with this whole argument, is about, look, Gronk has been hurt a lot. A lot in his young career. So what Belichick is saying is, man, you need to be building up muscle and, and things to keep you on the field. And I don't know if this TB12 program really helps Gronk. Yeah. Did Rob Gronkowski stay reasonably healthy last year? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I think yeah. he, Given his track record, yeah. what he oh, yeah, reasonably yeah, yeah, healthy? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. remember the previous year, Skip, he missed the season because he didn't play in the Super Bowl. Right. So correct. he missed a lot of time. Right. And he's been Nick throughout his career. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a game. Maybe it's eight games. But we know normally he gets Nick. So what have we talked about with Tom Brady and Alex Guerrero? <laughs> if Tom Brady believes with all his heart and soul and what that man is preaching to him... Let him believe it. Let because him believe it. What the mind can conceive, the body will achieve. It Correct. just will. Yeah. Because if you believe it in your head, it'll start to yes. manifest itself the rest of your body. And Brady believes in this guy, and Brady has convinced Gronkowski you should believe in this guy because he will lengthen your career. Mm -hmm. And so now I think Gronk's a convert. And this is like like religious stuff because you have to believe in it religiously yes. Yes. to mm -hmm. buy it, yeah. right? So he is buying all of it, as is Brady. And if I'm the coach of my two most important players, right? Are those yeah. the two? Yes, I think absolutely. so. Because you yeah. say Gronk can be as dominating oh, as he in the league, oh, right? Oh, yeah, no question. No question. Well, well then I'm, I'm going to live and let live on those two because I'm just going to say, go, you're good. 
And I get you about weightlifting, but again, Alex Guerrero is about pliability. I, I don't know, but but again, it's all about stretching, lengthening the muscles right. as opposed to tightening right. and strengthening the muscles because when they get tight, they will explode on contact. If you get hit the wrong way in a, in a precarious, vulnerable position, your muscle will tear. And they're saying if you lengthen the muscle, it won't tear anymore. So Gronk is, what is he, 6'6", 265, somewhere in there? 270. Okay. That's a big man. Okay, so he just wants to play longer and leaner than he did before. Maybe that's okay. He, he basically just catches football. I, right? I don't believe that's compatible for the position it's that he not. plays. It's not. Now, you can stretch all you want to, Skip, but he plays a physical position. Yeah. So Gronk's going to have to have some texture, some oomph okay. to his up. body. Absolutely. Okay. When I see him dancing on stage, <laughs> he, he looks pretty pretty lean to me, like yeah. like scary lean, like long and lean. You know, well, like, uh, he doesn't uh, look like a tight end. A lady right? from the Boston Herald, they, they did a story, and she says he looks like he's lost 10, 15 pounds. Yeah. And, and the thing, and, and for Coach Belichick, you know if you play with New England, Skip, you know he's going to have his pull, his hand on everything. Nothing comes or goes without Coach Belichick. Right. So you understand that. But my pro- And as I told her, if they believe it, the most important muscle in your body is your mind. It is. It doesn't matter your hamstrings. It doesn't matter totally your biceps. If right. they believe that he provides something that mm-hmm. that training staff for the Patriots cannot, you're wasting your time. Totally. Because for an athlete, when they – you believe it. <sighs> I, had to, I had to show him the results. Okay, Ray, if you do this, Mm -hmm. if you run like this, if you eat like this, if you train like this, the first year he does it, he wins defensive player of the year. Well, there's the proof in the pudding. So now I don't need to be around him because he knows what to do. No. What was the proof in the pudding, Jay? I mean, look how you look. (laughs) Did you you not win defensive player of the year? Did you win that award? I did. Are you taking full credit? No, 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 no. No, 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 he he, He had to eat. He had to eat. He had to lift those. I couldn't lift those weights for it. I couldn't run for Ray. But I'm just trying to show, because here's the thing. See, the thing is, like, and we're going to talk about this, but when you mentor somebody, the mentor can only be as good as the mentee. That's it. So if he was unwilling to listen, Skip, I was wasting my time. Yep. Mm-hmm. But he was, will- he was willing to listen. And so with Gronk and-, and-, and Coach Belichick, Coach Belichick, it's hard to argue what you've been able to accomplish. But they believe Guerrero will give them something that that New England Patriots well, training staff can't. Well, well, but you, you over the years, you have went outside of that as well. Absolutely, right. And just, yeah. just like myself, we have went outside of the regular trainers, mm-hmm. right? The regular doctors, right? Because there's there's people who do other things for even you. strength and conditioning. Absolutely, I did. I, I I took Friday. No disrespect to you, I know no. you know, but this is what works for me. Yeah. Right. Okay. And Ray and I were doing we were doing what we doing on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This is no disrespect to you, uh, Friday. But this is how he was a strength and conditioning coach. This is how it worked. And I've had the same thing when I was in Denver. Hey, they said, as long as you lifting, it's it's working. Yeah. So that, but that's not how Coach Belichick sees it, Skip. But this is not about that trainer, Skip. It's not. not. If if Garoppolo was there, (laughs) then he'd have Alex Guerrero be doing push-ups in Belichick's office. That is correct. (laughs) No, he would. No, you're exactly right. Coach Belichick might be getting a massage. (laughs) So, once upon a time, Ray Lewis and company often took down the Patriots from the outside in because they were the Ravens. Playoff games. Right now, the Patriots are starting to implode. Mm-hmm. from in, th- This is Rome falling from within, within Absolutely. right? Mm-hmm. Because to me, this is yet another indication, another report that shows you that this is internal warfare. Right. Man. They're, they're at it. And I don't see it getting better. I see Mr. Kraft ultimately having to choose. He's going to have to choose. Mm -hmm. Who you got? Because I don't see how Brady and Belichick will coexist this way because Mr. Kraft is fighting, you know, he's just dancing as fast as he can to try to make him happy, then go over here and make him happy Mm -hmm. and hope they can coexist through another Super Bowl year. I mean, the guy has done nothing wrong, and then you take his access away. What did he do? Oh, he happens to be the one that, the guy that you wanted to replace, mm-hmm. he happened to be his guy. So I'm going to make you uncomfortable, Tom. You want to go tell your dad that uh, 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 get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, well, I'm going to make you uncomfortable. That's I'm going to want to make you leave. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm still in charge. Yeah, 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 I'm going to make you leave. Yeah. Well, okay. So that's one way to lose we'll a dynasty. Well, I'm, able to skip. I'm, I'm betting on the uh, quarterback who had the greatest 40-year-old quarterback <laughs> year in history because he just won MVP. And took the L. That's pretty good. Oh, Nick Foles got it. 
Nick Foles is the best quarterback in the NFL. Because oh. that's how you say you do it. Did he not have a great year? Oh, so now Nick Foles should be starting for the Eagles? No, 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 no. Carson Wentz. Oh. He just took down Tom Brady. <laughs> So it's a, it, only, it just only works is, until, see, until the next I, season I like starts. to use Skip's rationale. Skip says the best player, if you win the title yep. and you win the MVP, you're you, the best player. You got like to gotta be the best Oh, Nick Foles. Mm. Oh. Tell Tom to give him that trophy. Okay. Well, he lost because Tom can't play safety. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Play safety. <laughs> what about, oh, what Am about? I right? I, did, he th- did, did, did he throw Tom Brady to pass? Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, was, was, it. was that the difference in the game? No, 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 the fumble. Uh, uh, that fumble. Uh, okay. Did he fumble the ball? One time. He no, 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 no. One played, time. You he told, game. Uh, you told, you told me in game six when LeBron James had those three turnovers, you no, say three. Oh, yeah. He three had in one. a row in the last He had minutes. one. Whew. He had one. one. Oh, costly. Was it not a great uh, – LeBron's were all uncharacteristic, unforced errors. Was this not a forced error no. by Brandon Graham? That, Tom, Was Brandon Graham maybe the best pass rusher see, in football? If he'd have done yeah. some bicep curls, he, he could have held on to the ball. Uh, yeah, he had no tricep. Really? Uh, that's just, Interesting. Yeah. He ain't got no grip. Meanwhile, he's throwing for 505. 505 today. Playoff guys. record? I don't remember nothing. Tom Brady doesn't have a strong arm now. No. Oh. Really? He ain't strong as the old fold. He's got the he's throw got them the, fold. Fold. middle arms. The starter for the Eagles. Throw them fold, fold, right? Yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.